Today, Governor Rick Scott outlined his plan for the state's budget. It's part of what he calls fighting for Florida's future. The governor says he's proposing millions in tax cuts to help families and small businesses. News 6's Mark Lehman is taking a closer look and finding out what it means for your bottom line. Today's unveiling saw Governor Scott saying Florida's economy is booming and to further that Scott's proposed budget aims to cut taxes in some areas while boosting spending in others. I want to cut $618 million of taxes. Part of the governor's proposal calls for an expansion of sales tax holidays. On top of a 10-day back-to-school holiday, Scott is also calling for three days to benefit veterans. Oh, there's a lot of them are struggling financially. Any benefit for the veteran is much needed. VFW member James Pope says the cuts will certainly be a blessing, but the governor is also looking to make cuts for businesses as well. Scott says his plan will reduce the building permit surcharge and fees on renewing licenses. He's also calling to cut the tax on commercial leases. Florida is the only state in the nation that has this tax and unfairly, tar unfairly targets small businesses. When it comes to spending, education could soon be getting a boost. The governor is proposing nearly $21 million in funding for K-12 schools. He also recommends $6.6 .6 billion for higher education. In a win for students, a tuition increase was not included. But with all of this in mind, the governor could be in for a collision course with legislators. Recent projections show there could be a budget shortfall in two to three years, but Scott says his $83 billion budget has planned for that. In addition to our investments and tax cuts, we are setting aside $5 billion in reserves. Of course, the proposed budget is just an initial step that lawmakers will soon look at. Scott's proposed budget will be reviewed when the legislative session begins in March. Reporting in the newsroom, Mark Lehman, News 6.